Look at all the buffalo. Look at all that freaking buffalo. Look at this nice Roma sandstone. And over there you got Mexico. See that over there? And you got a lot of birders. You know, Caucasian birders. They're Caucasians, but they're the nice Caucasians. Okay? For the most part. They're down here because there's a, can uh, what is it, some sort of hawk or something? Dada. What, baby? You got a snake in your pants? Yeah. How'd you do that? I don't know if that's, I don't know if I should believe you right now. Anyway, you could see, look at that nice exposure of rock right there. But they're over there looking at, what are they looking at? Some sort of hawk, what's it called? A crane hawk? But we're going to look at the, uh, you could just see them over there. The Montezuma cypresses, you could see they changed color for the season. So we're going to go, we're going to check them out. Oh, this is that, that Kleberg blue stem. What's this stuff called? It's another invasive grass. There's like three different kinds of invasive grass. What's going on? There's, there's a frog in my pants. There's a frog? How the hell did you get a frog in your pants? I, are you sure? Yeah. I don't. I think you're lying to me. I think you're making stuff up now. Look at all this grass, man. This is a this is this is a real bummer. But it's dead, which is nice. What? There's a cow in my pants. There's a cow in your pants. Now I know you're lying. Look, look at it. Look at it. Look at a cypress. It's a Montezuma cypress up there. So, you know, if you were a coyote, this is where they'd be crossing people. Probably happens quite a bit. You got to see that Channel 5 news documentary on, on uh, the border crossings. It's kind of funny. He poses the question, why does anyone want to come here? Despite the America's general decline that it's on right now. The lack of health care, the lack of education, the increasing political divisions, which of course only benefits our corporate overlords and the oligarchy. Look at this beautiful cypress. You look at this beautiful Taxodium mucronatum. Look at it. Forming rebar. Like rebar along the banks of the Rio Grande, those roots. No knees like Taxodium disticum, which of course you don't get in central Texas. But it's just got those rebar-like roots. And of course, these were probably green up until the recent freeze. Tiny cones, much different branching structure and general habit. And no nematophores. Oh, that's beautiful right there. Look at that. Look at those beautiful roots. See that? Stabilized in a bank. Too bad most of these were cut. Most of the old growth was is gone. As are the houses that it was probably used to build. And, and then you can see those little tassels. Those are the, the male pollen cones, the microstroboli. Microstroboli, macrostrobolus, singular. What? What'd you say? Okay, here we go. We're going to go look at the roots. What do you think when you look at those roots? What do you think of those trees? What do you think of the trees? Um, uh, thanks. Thanks? Oh, snakes. snakes. Oh, you think there's, maybe there's an indigo snake over there. Look at that. How'd you like to live over there? You can make a little nice, a little tent. If this was California, there'd already be some, some hippies nestled up in there with their rank ass dreadlocks, you know, just having a little candle seance or something. You guys don't want to come join us down here. Why not? Look, they're freaked out. Wonder what this stream bank looked like before all this damn invasive grass. Those roots are really something else though. Oh, I love it. Look at it. You can see the tiny cones. How, look how small the cones are. Stop licking my ear. That's called a wet willy and I don't appreciate it. No, don't bite my ear either. I'll throw you in the river. You think I won't do it just because I'm your dad? You know how to swim. Look at those tiny little, look at those tiny little cones though. Of course, they just dehiss. They just disintegrate on the branch, fall into the, fall into the Rio Grande right here, and then lodge, lodge further down and germinate and you get a new tree. But you know, this grass probably inhibits germination. I can't get over them roots. Look at those nice roots. God damn it. You see, now you could see we got a little, we got like a little elf hotel in here. Look at this massive root system. Again, just holding that rebar together, doing all that stuff. Look at this guy. What, Jack, what are you doing? With such a wonderful guy, there's even buffalo growing up on top of it. Look at it. Just I feel like I'm in a redwoods right now. I mean, this could be Northern California. It's a little bit more stiff than Northern California, culturally speaking. But this could be Northern California. Look, the old man even likes it too. There's a water bottle probably left from 
someone who, you know, if you just cross the legally into the country, I guess it'd be a nice spot to kind of nestle up, you know, curl up in a fetal position, just hang out, you know, till uh, you catch your breath and whatnot, you know. God, I love these trees. It's just a different kind of distant command. It's just a different. They're just different. It's, just a, it's taxonomy. It's a bald cypress. It's just a different kind. It's Texas speak for, I don't really know what the hell I'm talking about botanically. All right, those plants in, in San Antonio and Austin are not Taxodium disticum. But because they've been mistaken to be, they've been planting Taxodium disticum in the rivers up there. So now you get a little, I don't even know, can this hybridize with disticum? Probably, I'd assume so. Who knows how long they've been evolutionarily separated since they diverged. You can just see the leaves just starting to pop out. Look at that. Okay, I'll say goodbye to everybody. Bye, say goodbye. Everybody. Bye, goodbye. God, look at that root system. Holy hell. Should certainly be a lot steeper if these these trees weren't here. They're holding everything together. Oh, look. Yeah, there's a little cone. How about that? Look at this sketchy, like rebar. Oh, this is, you know what? Those seeds aren't good anymore. I just germinated a bunch of these, actually. They got to be in water, though, especially in this Texas heat. You can plant them in an irrigated landscape, but much better to plant them, uh, you know, in a place where they can get, actually get their feet wet. Because you can see see what they like right here. God, I'd love to get a boat down here and just go up and down a river looking for these damn trees, you know? Okay, anyway, we should get out of here. Anyway, that's all I got. Go fuck yourself. Bye. I hope you enjoyed that. Right there. Right on the Mexican border. There's Mexico. All right, she's getting mad. You know, this is the kind of abuse I have to deal with. I got her. I got the dogs. You know, I got the dog. The dogs have started protest shitting lately have you ever done that before it's a matter where you're shitting is a political act i've only known one person to do that before and that was in 2003 that's all i got have a great day go fuck yourself bye uh,